All right, everyone, we are here with Dave and Dim, our boxing coaches. These boys have been training us the entire time for this fucking podcast <laughs> royale fight night. And man, it's been one hell of a f- journey, boys. And thank you both for getting us both ready because, man, we were f- we were a week out from from pulling out of the whole thing. My fucking heart was going nuts. Your knees were all. F- it's still not a hundred percent. Yeah, and then we just f- and were like, f- it, let's do it." And then we just hooked in, and here we fucking are, boys. But you guys backed us. I don't know if you I'm guys were killing it. <laughs> but we were. Were you guys worried at the start though? Because do you do you remember the very first sparring session we had? Because like you know, I come in, I hit the pads. Once a week, but I'd done sparring for years. The, the first time sparring, I remember I was just fat and like, remember I was doing that thing where I'd lift my leg up? <laughs> <laughs> we, oh, we all laugh. Oh, yeah, is that because yeah, you yeah. like embracing the hit? Dude, I was just, I just, I, just trying to block because I was just, I couldn't move anymore. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I remember that actually. That was funny. Yeah. Man. And were you guys were you guys worried? Because Michael's like had never boxed properly before ever. Oh, dude. It, I, hated it like at the start i hated sparring <laughs> yeah getting hit in the face was the worst feeling ever yeah, yeah it's not very nice until you're like <laughs> you saw that eh? yeah but what uh, is, were you guys worried at all that we were we were at, at any stage during the prep that we weren't going to be ready for it oh well, what do you reckon i'd say like physically like that if you could get ready i reckon you were we weren't like that didn't really um Play a part. It was more like if you were mentally ready for yeah, it. Yeah, hundred percent true. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think the biggest thing like was watching you guys' mental change over the fucking yeah, the, the course of time. Like yeah. yeah, yeah. The confidence was quite low early on, eh? That's the thing. You've really got to believe you can win, or it's just not going to happen. Yeah, like, yeah. And then the fucking the event was like so much like in, more intense than we thought it would be. Eh? It was like so. It's like there was like seven thousand people at the Gold Coast Convention Center, and like, you know, Michael and I barely promoted this thing. It was all the alpha blokes, boys. So it was just pretty much just all like fucking real Aussie manly, like fucking minor boys, and they're all just like, it was like ninety nine percent of the crowd just were there for the alpha blokes, and like, cause the guys we were fighting were mates with the alpha blokes. It was just like whoever was fighting, who was on the opposite team. That we were just—it was just fucking hate. Well, like, yeah, booed, yeah, getting definitely. booed, and like you know, they just wanted them to win so badly, and it was just fucking insane. Have you guys ever been like to? You guys have been to boxing events, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Have, have you guys been to ones that big before? Oh, uh, I've been to like I've been to fights there. I've been to um, oh, we went to the Jai Pataya fight. Uh, Isaac fought Bo Hardison. Mm. That's when he proper, like, that was the worst KO I've ever seen in my life. And it was nothing. I don't reckon it was even close to that, yeah, eh? Even then. It was like... That was a world title fight. Yeah. That, that place was off its head. And, like, Jai Bataille, yeah. too. Like, that's a... Like, Jai Bataille versus Marius Breedis, that is massive. <laughs> yeah, that's a... And yeah, those like, are big boxes, yeah. It wasn't even... Like, <laughs> it was nowhere near as packed as that. Um, what else? I've been to, like, ones in Melbourne, Sydney, for like, like obviously, just cornering Isaac and... Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen anything that hectic in my life, eh? That was full on. I think the one that I did miss was the uh, one he fought in Townsville, which was, I think, I don't know how much that Cowboy Stadium holds, but that's obviously a massive one. But, yeah, I've never seen anything like that in my life. It, we were even talking about, like, we went to Subway across the road because we got there pretty early, and we walked out, and, man, the sea of those trucker hats was <laughs> off its head. Eh? I, that spun me out. I've never seen that many... People just lined up on the piss, ready to go. Like that was, yeah, that was something else. Yeah. yeah so the whole of Surface Paradise was just like Alpha Blokes merch and CTC caps. And the guys that we fought, Knuckles, he's the owner of the C- CTC like company. So even during the fight, the, you know, all these CTC. Yeah, that was CTC. massive. That, that was really, was, really yeah, yeah. That was fucking so like hectic. I hey? didn't. He, I, Block it out. It's literally when you're in the ring, you're right. You're just focused on yeah. the other person. Everything, and everything else out. is yeah, gone. It's weird. Yeah, it is a weird feeling, and you get so fucking so sick of being nervous. Like being last was like yeah. so shit, oh, so man. draining. That's the worst feeling ever. Like just watching <laughs> oh. it, and then um, you just see like one fight walk out, and then you're like, "Fuck, bro, I've got ages to go." And then another fight comes <laughs> yeah. out. And it's you're like, like, "Bro," and you yeah. see some 
getting like just fucked up bad too. Dude, like, that scared me. Like I was like <laughs> fucking terrified when I yeah. started to see like people getting hit that hard, like knockouts. And I was like, dude, he's 25 kilos heavier than me. That's <laughs> yeah. And I've got no, no head, head gear. gear. I'm going to get <laughs> fucked up. Nah, you'd be right. But yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That, was, that was crazy, eh? I yeah. didn't see that. That was two, two shoulder dislocations. I oh, was there too. Yeah. yeah. Who was the other one? I know Jashi, is it? One popped back in, but Jashi was like done. He had to stop. Oh, that's good. Oh. Yeah. But so anyway, so we, we walked out there and the fucking crowd was just fucking, because it was, we're the last fight, so everyone had just been on the piss all day. It was just <laughs> so loose and hectic. We get in there and the fight starts and... So our game plan initially, with which we talked about with you boys, was like we uh, I go in for thirty seconds, Michael goes in for thirty seconds, and then we just keep swapping because yeah. it's tag team, so four two minute rounds. But then right before the fight, Knuckles came over and it goes, "Oh, me and Michael are going to start," and then like it's just normal tag team after that, and then it pretty much just turned into. Michael versus Knuckles, and then me versus Bryzy. That could have changed in round, round three. Yeah, yeah. Michael's feeling himself there for a bit. Yeah, yeah. Michael's feeling <laughs> right. He's seen him fighting it like, fuck, nah, I'm all good. There was two seconds it went to him and I was like, yep. And then as soon as I was like, nah. As soon as he came, I was like, no. Oh, but it worked good. out well because because Knuckles is like 20 kilos heavier than you and Michael's walking forward just bang, bang. Yeah. And then for 30 seconds, and I don't think Knuckles had much of a gas tank because every, every 30 seconds he's get closer and closer to his to corner, corner to Brazi yeah, and then just tap Brazi. And so it was me and Brazi in for like a minute 30 each round. And man, I was so fucked by the end of it. Like that, that's like, like I could barely walk. It took like a good half an hour for me to just feel normal again. Yeah, but, you really, you, you pushed through there. You carried after us. That, after that second round, um, when I went to squeeze water in your mouth, you were just like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I couldn't breathe out of my nose because it was oh. just packed with Vaseline. So I just had my mouth over water, just squirting <laughs> it, and then just dribbles down. Just couldn't even fucking swallow water. How when about old Michael over here going, Marty, you are right? Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to make sure he's okay because I was fine. Like, because obviously, yeah, Knuckles would tap out, and I was like, I can't face Brazy, Brazy well myself. So I'd tap out. So I'm only in for like 30 seconds each round. And then, like, oh, yeah, we've trained for, like, doing five rounds two minutes, so I was fine. And then, Yeah, so yeah, Ma just... Michael's fresh as fuck because then he gets a minute and a half break. Well, two-minute break. Yeah. yeah. And then, and so, but, yeah, did you were you guys worried at all? Like, after the first round, were you guys like, oh, fuck, this could go either way? Uh, if I'm honest, I think Dave was in the same boat as me. It was like, it, I, it really come down to how... The first ten seconds went with Michael, yeah, like, yeah. and how he reacts to a punch. <laughs> yeah, like, and yeah, I'm yeah. like, and then he just fucking went full terminal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Michael just kept fucking, and then on. and then because Michael, I, I thought I was like, I'm watching. I was like, Michael's win. Michael won against Knuckles, Knuckles. Yeah. and so then when I came in, I was like, okay, so I just have to maintain the lead. So I didn't have to take many risks. So yeah. I just fucking just jab, stayed away, jab, stayed away, you know, boom, 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 moved away. And then we fucking got the win. Although third round though, because we watched the fight back, yeah. I thought maybe they had the third round. Yeah, I, yeah, they I the thought third. they had the third, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was 3-1. But one thing I thought um, would have swayed the judges is remember earlier uh, before the night they said, all right, do you want to make it 30 seconds? Just that's what it's, it is. It's 30 seconds, Knuckles and Michael, 30 seconds, you and Bryzy. And I'm sort of glad now that we, we said no to that because – if you think about it, like one thing that would have swayed the judges was um, Michael making Knuckles tap out. Like, yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, yeah. percent. Although having said that, though, if if Knuckles was forced to get back in more often, like he would have been so fucking tired by the end of it. Yeah. Don't you reckon? Like yeah. he would have been. Yeah. If, if he had to do more than thirty, if he had to do a minute every round instead of thirty seconds, he would have been so fucked by the end, yeah. and and you would have been able to just punch. Punch and punch and punch and fuck him. Yeah, dude. Well, uh, it's literally, it's so weird. It's I like, think Michael could have fought fucking anyone on the night. <laughs> yeah, and it would have been on. It was <laughs> mad. Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, everything goes out the window. It's like once <laughs> I got hit with like, when that, like, the, like, what do you call it? Just a, a wild swing. It makes you just want to wild, like, do a yeah. windmill swing. I can do so it your technique goes out the window. It's not a straight punching. You just want to get one good right across him. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's hard work to like, Think about your composure and making sure your arms stay up because you just want to swing wildly. 
Yeah. 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 I was but, listening to the commentators after too, and um, right before the um, they were like, oh, because we're red corner. Yeah. yeah. Right before yeah. they they made the call, they're like, oh, blue corner surely, blue corner surely. And I was like, what the fuck? Surely it wasn't that close that they thought that the blue corner won. I was like, I thought we won that. Not convincingly, but I th- you definitely thought we won that. I think it was close, but um, I feel like what I said was the was the game like you making knuckles tap like that would have like if you like there was there wasn't once where you where you tapped first. He always was the one to tap. And that's <laughs> yeah. not a good. Look you didn't even want to tap to yeah. one point. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, I knew that Marty was wrecked, so I was like, "Fuck, I got to try and like yeah. make up some ground here for him." But and you are on the front foot like. The whole time, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. He's really pushed pace centering. too, which was like real good. And then you, um, like you were trying to force him back as well. Mm. So I reckon it really made a big difference, eh? And yeah. then like with you making a miss and then countering as well, like yeah, you just look like by far the better boxers on the day. Like it was fucking sick, so good. Well, yeah. thanks to your training, boys. Yeah, man, fucking- you put us through oh. some hell. Remember that last session with Dim? That was oh. like so fucked, dude. Yeah, the bike and the ball. Oh. The fucking oh, ball, I man. Yeah, He'd the, make us hold this ball, ball and we'd have to yeah. hack into the ball and hold it up. Yeah, and so you're going to get a rest. So if you're not punching, you're holding this fucking oh. heavy medicine ball while the other one punches the ball. It was and just Marty's fucked. hits would just wind you through <laughs> yeah, the ball. So I'd just be... Out, so. And if you drop it, you got to do it all over again. So <laughs> oh, yeah, just do I not drop the ball. Oh, and That's the old uh, Blair Studley training there. That's... Yeah. yeah, man. Everything he shows us, we try to pass down to everyone. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> shout out to Nitro Boxing, yeah, guys. If you guys want to do boxing... Nitro boxing is what where to do it. It's like unbelievable. The, the things these boys do with, with you know, if you're a, if you've never boxed before, I'd highly recommend going to nitro boxing because you, you go to a lot of other gyms and you know we've done we've been coaches before, like tennis coaches, and like the head coach, like at nitro, it's like Blair, the head coach, teaches the pros and then the pros teach the students. It's not like that everywhere else. It's like mm. you know, usually it's just like you coach. Like I, you know, when we were tennis coaches, I would just coach what I wanted to coach. You would coach how you coach. And it wasn't, there was no like, there's no, you know. Yeah, there's no structure. And that's the thing at Nitro, it is like one big family. So as soon as you walk in, you know, everyone says hello to you. Yeah, it's and right. it's just straight away, like you feel welcome. Even the sparring sessions, everyone's there to help oh, each man, other. Yeah. So, it's, so many fucking people to spar. Yeah. So many bodies. Eh? It's real good because you get. Like everyone has their own style too. Like in between us pros, even though we all learn off the same person, like you got Isaac who spars different to Hilly. You got Hilly who spars different to like say Dimitri. Dimitri spars different to Reese, John. Like I'm a midget. And then you got <laughs> Jerry there. You know what I mean? So you get like mad bodies too to work with. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, it's like we got everything down there. So we're blessed down there. Yeah. yeah well, hit him up if you guys want to get into boxing. And it, I must say from someone who hates contact sports, I grew to love it. Like, yeah, I told it is you, addictive. Man. It is addictive yeah. as, and sparring is like a fun way to do a workout. It's like session. therapy, you know. Yeah. You go in there and just fucking hit a bag and just get all your f- rage out on. Whatever. It is a good time. I understand the uh, appeal now. And then yeah, when you get to a certain level of fitness, too, it's not as like, because early on, it's like, you know, you hit the pads for one round and you're so fucked. It makes it hard to enjoy. Mm. But then when you get a bit fitter, again, it gets funner again. Yeah, exactly. And then you're fitter. Yeah. It's a good way to work out. It's just, yeah, good. Yeah, as you said, for the body and mind. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So fucking, <clears throat> yeah. And the, the, pr- so you guys didn't, couldn't come to the press conference beforehand, but even that, that leading up to the fight, that was fucking nuts. So Knuckles and Brizey, the guys we fought, Bryzy owns like a um like a funeral home, is it? Yeah, he, he's a funeral. Oh, does he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So is that and he preps the bodies. Yeah, yeah. So I think a crematorium, like I think that's the word. Yeah, for crematorium it. as well. Yeah. So he, so during the press conference, like it was at some fucking random football club on the Goldie, and like there were th- like a thousand people there. Again, all alpha blokes, yeah. people just fucking drunk, fucking you know, Aussie Ocker okay blokes. And then Knuckles and Brizey pull these two coffins out with our faces on them. <laughs> and we're just like, Jesus Christ, this is like but, fucking hectic. Yeah, ass. that was that was a good G up. Like it was intimidating. But Brizey's such a legend. He's like, they were oh, both Brizey and yeah, Knuckles yeah, were like that's all genuinely good. like nice as yeah. fuck. But and then obviously, you know, during the press conference and stuff, you you put it on a bit 
to to try and you know for the entertainment value. But yeah, man, they're both fucking super nice guys. Thank God. Because if if Brizzy was like a bit of a, it would have been a bit scary. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he's an intimidating dude, man. Yeah, yeah. he's a big, yeah. big guy. Big like follow. so many people would come up to me and be like, "Oh man, Brizzy's fucking real good. Like, what you have for Brizzy? What you have for Brizzy?" But then within the first thirty seconds. I just felt like as soon as he missed and I hit, I was like, okay, oh, this is just going to be like. Fuck, six. I'll never forget when you was like first described him at the gym, eh? I was like, oh, who's fighting? <laughs> oh, no. Nah. This Knuckles and this Bryzy boy. And then Knuckles, I was like, fuck, he sounds like a hectic. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, if you yeah, name yeah, Knuckles. Yeah, you're like, you think he's uh, hectic. And then Bryzy, and you're like, yeah, no, nah, he's had a couple of, uh, what was it, amateur MMA oh, fights yeah. and that? Yeah. Well, if and you know, like, yeah, oh, if you fought oh. MMA, you've got to be a tough dude. Yeah, like, you got to be yeah, a bit yeah, of a nut case to do that. Yeah. I was being a bit of an, I was being a bit of an asshole to them. I'm like, no, I heard about that fucking Bryzy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 He's like eight and no in MMA. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you'd stir us up too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Michael would be shitting himself I, every time. I did not want to do it. Like, as yeah. I said, it was. <laughs> Out of my comfort zone. Fully right. Because I was real like nervous for me, but also like if Michael got hurt, like I can't, I would have felt so guilty because like I kind of forced him into it. Like my, I was like, we're doing this. And Michael's like, no, no, we're not fucking doing this. No way. Like, I hate boxing. And then I tried to get Matt to do it, but his knees are all fucked. So I had to get Michael in and yeah, it was fucking mental. And yeah, um, well, I'd do it again, honestly. Yeah, I think mm. he's fucking sure. Like we were saying before, I reckon he's good at amateur fights. Like he's red hot. Like, <laughs> I think Maybe it's you sick. fought someone your own weight. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, true. Yeah, dude, yeah, imagine if you fought an 80 kilo person. That, that would be so much easier, dude. Like, fuck me. Yeah, well, like, I guess that's a good starting point there. So, oh, it doesn't get be... much bigger than what you already yeah, did, you oh. know? So, it's all kind of. <laughs> I yeah, fights are at like the pub. You'd yeah, hundred like, percent. Oh, where is everyone? Uh, <laughs> and the other thing I love too is that like, no one thought that we. Everyone thought that we're just these two fucking like dickheads who 100%. who hit each other with sticks and balls, <laughs> which and, we sort of are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then so even the odds, like the betting odds, like it blew out to like what was it, three dollars thirty or something. $3. Three dollars yeah. eighty. So we were three dollar eighty underdogs, and then all our mates can started putting money on us. Did you guys put any money on us? Yeah, yeah. I had a couple of multis, I, eh? But but I I put a couple of multis on that didn't come through. But I put on. I'm like, but Marty and Michael are fucking definitely gonna win. <laughs> yeah. So I put money on that. Just so I could break even. Yeah, yeah, yeah for the multi. Yeah, I've yeah, broken even for the multi. <laughs> I'm fucking <laughs> minced today. Nah, my kids are eating noodles this week. <laughs> <laughs> not good. Yeah, oh. so at least all our mates want a fuckload of money, so that's nice. The first round I thought, I, and then the rest is a blur. And I, I, I think I watched it the next day, but I didn't watch it properly, so I have to sit down and see exactly Yeah, he had a I little thought. stumble. You got him with a, clipped him with a right, and he kind of stumbled a little bit. Yeah. So I was like... Inside, I was like, I was like, yes, Michael's gonna finish this. I just remember I don't he, have to do anything. hearing like, st- like storm, storm him, like rush him, which is what <laughs> Dave taught me, like as well. Like if you see him on the back foot, you got to get in there. So I was like, all right, a pounce, but then I think he tapped out. Yeah, yeah. If he was on a different corner, like yeah, a lot of things, yeah. But yeah, no, it was it was fun. He was, was feeling very safe in that corner of his life. Yeah, yeah <laughs> Brazzy right behind him. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, it was such a rush. And Fuck, yeah. as I said, thank you, boys. It was. Yeah, you boys, he's oh, fucking turn, us. turned oh, us into huge. bloody boxers in, in a matter of weeks. So, yeah, it's unbelievable. I can't wait to show you guys the before and after pictures because fuck me, I was a sick, fat-looking pregnant. <laughs> Did look pregnant. Yeah, it was not like good. a pair. <laughs> yeah, after like the holidays. Pear. Like, yeah, just. <laughs> the old Nate Diaz body. <laughs> <laughs> well, it will do. Well, that, but just worse, eh? It was like <laughs> like such a gross gut. It was so fun to play with, though. Yeah, yeah. You, I'd always catch you grabbing away. Yeah. <laughs> I had like three tits and shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah. It was so That's good. It. We actually got John fighting from the gym uh, next weekend. Jo- um, John again. Yeah, yeah. He's oh, he's fighting again. again. Yeah, hundred percent. Holy yeah. wow. fucking hell, he's keen. Yeah, eh? he's keen. That bloke. Yeah, yeah he, <laughs> he's a weapon. He man. won his fight the other week too, so yeah, he's killing yeah. it. A lot um, of the boys and I tried. Did Hilly won the other week. Yeah, yeah. Hilly fighting again too. Is he? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. He took a fight um, against pretty t- like he's a super dangerous player today. Eh? Fucking hell, he. There's one bloke on the scene that I was like watching. And I was like, fuck, this guy's pretty good. Isaiah Seti, and he fought this Korean bloke who um. 
from Toowoomba. Yeah, he fights out of like Toowoomba. He has something to do with him, anyways. And man, this Korean bloke sparked Isaiah Seti so bad, like, and he was getting beat the whole fight, and mm. then bro blasted his head off. And I think it was about the fourth, though. Eh? It was a fourth round, yeah. And yes. He just, Hit him with one good punch. Yeah, he was, massive. He was, and lost his legs. Yeah, he was not all right. But yeah, that's who Healy's fighting. Healy's going to do that to him. So uh, yeah. I think that's 23rd of um, 23rd of May. 23rd or 28th, can't remember. Yeah, something like that. It's yeah. coming up soon. So we'll put out all the dates and that and the Nitro Insta and that. Oh, yeah, well, fuck yeah. yeah, boys. All right, well, it, guys, yeah, like I said, if you ever want to fucking get into boxing for fitness to learn... Go to Nitro, hit up fucking Dave and Dim, and um, they'll sort you out with um, yeah some quality training. And um, yeah, we couldn't have done it without you boys. So I uh, really appreciate all the all oh. the fucked up shit mm. you made us do. Mate, you you the ones that done it all. <laughs> right? That was all you. <laughs> yeah, but all that shit goes out the window. Like yeah. it was only what you guys taught us. Yeah, your brain's just blank. Yeah. While you're in there, you know. Yeah, man, those literally. last two weeks of like practicing that tag team shit. Oh, that was, that was <laughs> fucking oh yeah, you guys, yeah. Oh, you guys beat the f out of us. <laughs> <laughs> in my face at the end of those, remember? Yeah, it didn't oh, broke yeah. your nose. Yeah, yeah. yeah, two, yeah. Two, two weeks out from the fight, Dim landed one on me, and I felt my nose crack, and it was a different like feeling than usual. It really kind of stunned me, and I was like, oh fuck, and then it just pissed blood <laughs> and now when i touch it yeah i can tell that there's another little break at the top yeah, so yeah, all it takes boxing, eh? yeah. yeah i reckon just one good hit and yeah. all these breaks will connect and my nose won't look like a nose anymore <laughs> now nah, that happens you fucking look at the noses down at nitro and fuck <laughs> yeah yeah well hilly's <laughs> nose is <laughs> yeah, I was talking to him about it. I was like, you're going to get like surgery? He's like, oh, no, it'll just get broken again anyway. Right. <laughs> so it's just going to leave it. You just deal with it later on, eh? It should be right. Same oh. as our f***ing ears too, fuck. <laughs> oh, boys. Nah, thank you so much and thank you, Nitro. Yeah, boys. Thanks, thanks for, for coming us, on. Boys. And um, yeah. yeah, we're going to keep boxing and, and fuck who knows. We might be, you know, we might be fighting the Zoo Brothers one day. Well, yeah, I'm, I, I think, think I've got so. my eyes on Denny Green. <laughs> man, I've seen him come up to you. Yeah. Yeah, he he might nice He's a legend, show, man. Hey. Well, he wants to come on our podcast now. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was so nice, man. Such a legend. Yeah, yeah saying some nice, nice shit. Hey. Yeah. I was mad watching him come up to everyone after fight, ask photos, because yeah. usually I'm sure to be the other way around. Yeah, hey. no, I couldn't believe <laughs> it. He was so genuine and just like, yeah, really kind, so... We'll have to have him on as well. Yeah, we'll have to fucking bash him, <laughs> eh? I think so, yeah. Sure. <laughs> all right, boys. Thank you. Yeah, all right, oh, boys. Cheers you. for coming on and fucking we'll see you at the gym, eh? Good night, see you then. Grandma's dead. How? Had a stroke. Grandma had a stroke. Grandma Brown had a stroke. That's the only grandma I've had. <laughs> nah, that's hectic shit. The most sexist thing I've ever heard out of anyone's mouth. Mouth, Matt. I really, really hope you don't actually think that because that's disgusting. And and don't don't leave that in, Connor. That was f cut that dude. And, and and you just swore at the start. I'm mean, trying not to swear at the start. Of the <laughs> we'll, we'll bleep that. <laughs> He's a little grumpy. You didn't press record on the button. <laughs> yeah, you made us do it again. We oh, had to do the, the whole intro. Everything hang on, you've heard hang was on, hang said. On. Stop, stop, stop. It's done it again. You're lying. No, I'm not. He's being extra light. Stop, 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 stop. I lied. <laughs> oh, was it lying the hot? You've been bamboozled. Um, lying both? Yeah. That's very good. No, no it's just the first one was true, the second oh, one was lying. Okay. Okay. All right. Look, all right, it's, it's episode. Hot. Let's get episode, this done. It's episode number 12 or something. And um, look, right now we are like less than two weeks out from this fight. And it's starting to really wear on us physically because of all the training, but also mentally now, I've noticed. Like, I'm, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's always in the back of your mind. It's just slight nerves, so mm. like an ominous feeling constantly. So it's like it becomes a bit overwhelming sometimes because you just want to be able to relax and not think about it. But you can't. You can't switch off. It's always there waiting for you. Yeah, it's scary. And the body's fucked from all the training and now the mental game start. But when this comes out, the fight will be done and dusted. Day. So that's exciting. Brown, you're being oh, very man. brown. Brown, sit down, brown. We fucking just poured our hearts out about how we're scared. 
Yeah, I just I don't believe you. Would you, if you could, oh, for hundred k sake? Where um, Sorry. where they they were the f- when the betting odds came out from Blue Bet, and when they first came out, we we're paying two dollars forty to win, and they were paying like a dollar fifty. I think it's evened out a bit now, but that's so we are we are underdogs. Yeah, holy shit. So and and um, I was speaking to Knuckles, and he texted me the other day, and he's sitting at like one hundred and two kilos or something. So that's that's twenty kilos heavier than you. So if he hits you. Like that's really gonna fuck you up, cunt. <laughs> that's a shame, dude. And the fucking Brizey's like, he just sounds like a scary fucking dude, eh? And like he's, uh, it seems I think he's taking it quite seriously. And and they thought that I'd done, I was because I was listening to Brizey's um, podcast, and he mentioned that I'd done some amateur fights. Uh, let me be clear, I have not had any amateur fighting. Okay, if you see the difference between how our skill level when we started this camp to now, it, it's pretty. Um, we were shit at the start. Yeah, well, look, we have never really boxed much, so you would have seen what happened. Yeah. Fuck me. It's just terrifying. When someone's throwing swings at you as hard as they can and you're trying to defend that, that is very difficult to do. Listen to your heart. I anyway, wonder what's happened. So, like, yeah, we, we've right, recorded this before. You guys know. God, I really just hope. Went. Holy I'm, shit, so you guys could be concussed and in a I, hospital. Like, no, I'm, could be dead. I'm in quite, a coma. You know what? I'm quietly confident that we can fucking win this. I'm confident Michael's going to have a won. broken nose. We won the fight. Yeah, look, oh, yeah, fuck it. We did win. And we're fucking celebrating right now and we don't have any broken noses or jaws. Michael will have a broken nose. Michael will have a broken rib. Oh, man. Oh, He'll have a broken yeah. rib. Yeah. Maybe well, you, two. Last time you said that, it happened. So that's great. <laughs> oh, but look, I think we've won on points and, and I think we're fine. Yeah, so that's awesome. If you bet on us, congratulations. We just won you some money. Maybe send us some in like the mail. Our PO box is two five six tagm four zero one eight. Yeah, send us some cash. Yeah, so thank thank us for fucking and, being and the champions. Can you imagine the relief we're gonna feel when oh, this man. is done, man? Oh, oh, it's gonna be so good. And we've busted our asses like fuck me, man. It's something I'm to be so proud sore. of. Are you gonna have a little time. dance at the end of the box? Like, well, it depends how what the result is, but yeah, bro. Okay. Uh, but anyway, so that's been going on, and it's like I was saying, it's hard to be creative and try and be funny when when you got this lingering. So unfortunately, um, Matt didn't didn't ha- submit to me his dream diary in time. So there's not one for today. But you did have a dream that you'd just like to quickly mention. Well, I did have a recent little nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Were you sleeping at Grandma's? No, I was here. <laughs> Grandma's dead. How? Oh, <laughs> had a stroke. Uh, uh, <laughs> grandma had a stroke. Uh, grandma uh, Brown had a stroke. That's the only grandma I've had. <laughs> <laughs> you've, got, you've got no one old around you. All the old Browns are gone. <laughs> I found her. Oh, oh no, you did That's not. a lie. It's That's true. That's a lie. Bullshit. Did you have a fucking Thank you promise. Did you feel her up? Did you have her tied up? I had to pick her up off the floor. <laughs> nah, you would have told me this and I would have been so happy. No, I would have been like amazed. <laughs> <laughs> the dead body stories, you know? I've never told you. <gasps> you have never ever. You said True you've story. never been around dead body. True story. Then you lied was to she us. dead or was she just struggling at that stage? She was struggling. Fuck, that would have been rough. How old were you? 19, maybe. What was she wearing? Clothes. <laughs> okay. Old lady clothes. I don't believe you. I'm yeah, pulling true story. I, I, um, I used to, she was on, uh, she used to live in a, an apartment on her own. And uh, I would I would come down to the Gold Coast to see my friends and I would always stop in, you know, have a shower, get ready for the night at her place and say hello to her. And um, yeah, one time I, I got there and I knocked on the door and... And I could hear like some murmuring, and I, all I could hear was, "I'm on, I've, I've, I'm on the floor, and I can't get up." And so, oh, so she was alive. In. So you had to break in. She died in my arms. No, she didn't. Okay, she didn't. But she was on the floor, and she'd had a stroke, and <laughs> <laughs> and, she, and she was as he was breastfeeding her. <laughs> And um, yeah, she was on the floor. It was fucking traumatizing, dude. Yeah, that oh, was yeah. the only so grandma. It was like, what, like how many three grandparents years ago? Yeah, it was like no. three years ago. How many grandparents <laughs> do you have? 
If fifty years ago. Well, it's in listen, fifty years listen. ago, dude. You can't talk about something fifty years ago. <laughs> yes, you can. I think yeah. we've all learnt from that that it goes through <laughs> generations. Okay. Um. Anyway, so yeah, I went in there and she was yeah she was down and I had to get like I had to like break the door open to get in. Down, Grandma Brown. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if she broke the door open and she's just sitting on the couch fucking with you, and then she makes you pay oh, for the I door. I wish that was true. <laughs> I wish oh, that was wow. true, but yeah, it was. Did very, you get to chat to her while you held her? Yeah, yeah. That's I'm called right. an ambulance, but I yeah. It was, what is a stroke painful? I don't know. I know your body shuts off. Like her, a whole half side of her body was like. That gone. would be so weird. Imagine just all of a sudden you just can't move that side of your body. Oh wow! I don't think she'd been stuck on the floor for like like 36 hours. And how long did she live oh, after you were holding me? her? So you fucking. I came in. You uh, saved she, it. So you saved another brown. Mm, maybe I don't know. Wow, but um, but yeah, it was it was pretty traumatizing. How that's long somebody after you, did she die? Uh, uh, I can't remember. I'm so sorry. So this is like we're getting down with Brown early on in the. Anyway, podcast. we're talking about cool. a nightmare. <laughs> it was, oh, yeah. My grand it was not at my grandma's house. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, that was traumatizing. Um, <laughs> I can't wait for you to find a dead family member. Oh, 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 oh. I already did a budgie. His name is Duck. What? My budgie. Three budgies is a kid. Oh, a budgie? Yeah, three. Oh, you fucking. It's like that adds up to losing like a grandma. Oh, you fucking <laughs> pussy. Oh, it's like three budgies died. each time. I reckon like six, like six budgies. Six, six budgies. So I had half a grandma. You're like a special needs kid. I had three budgies die. <laughs> yeah, they, their name is Duck. <laughs> duck one, duck two, duck three. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so nightmare. So I was uh, I was here at the brownery and I had my girlfriend and we were sitting on the couch together and mysteriously the couch was like double <laughs> the length. So she was way down the other corner and um, and I was just sitting there and I had a blanket on and suddenly I realized there was a, uh, a possum crawling up the blanket trying to come to my face and he and I felt like he was going to attack and I've like put my hands out and held onto it and just to, to keep it there and I was trying to force its way up and I was stuck and I leant over and I looked at Jen and I was like, I, I need some help. Like uh, this, there's a possum and he's going to fucking bite my face and it was just tr all its strength was trying to push through the blanket and I was holding it down and it was very painful. That sounds like a, what do you call it, dream? A, um, oh, a sleep, sleep paralysis. paralysis dream. Yeah, no, I've had sleep paralysis. It was This was a proper dream. But like sleep paralysis is like you're kind of awake. Yeah, and sleep paralysis is one hell of a thing. Well, there yeah. you go. There is. And she wouldn't you help did me. get a brown dream this week. My there girlfriend would dream. not help me. She just sat there and just was like, I, I can't do anything. Yeah. Well, yeah. what was she going to do? I don't know. But I did tell her about it and I was like a little bit annoyed. Yeah, yeah. You didn't help me. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's brown. What else have we got in shit talk? So well, we had a week just, off last week. Yeah, true. So just a bunch of training and... Um, not filming. You, and guys, just, you didn't really boring. have a week We're off. You had training. You did a podcast. Yeah, to be honest, I don't feel refreshed a couple of days one off. bit. Yeah, I just like two rounds of golf, which was nice, but then the rest was just life admin. That sounds shit. Yeah, man. It was, uh, but anyway, look. It's all for the greater good. Life's hard now, but it's hard now, but it'll become easier later, baby. <laughs> yeah, you just go and enjoy the ride. Yeah. yeah enjoy yeah. the broken noses and enjoy it'll be it. good. Yeah, exactly. The rib. Woo. Rib. <laughs> but we win yeah. still. I'd take a, I would take a, a shattered nose, but we still win. I would yeah. take that. I'd be happy wow, with that's that. Brave. If, that was, if that was offered to me. Mm. Like fucking destroyed, smooshed across my face. Is there Ooh. any type of insurance in this thing? We uh, we sign a contract saying that we're not going to sue them if we die. All right. Well, that's nice to hear. All right. <laughs> um, anyway, is that we had a good chance? week off. Is that any chance? Does that didn't mean that? Is that what you mean? Ooh. Anyway, now, we've got a jam-packed app for you guys today, right? we got Jackson R. Dowdy coming on, right? He's coming on for a fucking interview. we got prank calls. We've got uh, we've got um, Bamboozled is back because it was meant to be back last week, but J James was on holiday, so Bamboozled is back this week instead of our fussy little boys. And um, what else is there? we got the trauma the trivia. We might try and, you know, not abuse, but call up Emily and just double-check what's going on with her and Bailey, of course. Yeah, yeah, and of then. Course. Yeah, you guys have sent in some stories as well. Matt's chewing gum. We've sent some hectic shit, hey. A lot of people are doing lots of sprays. It's just all- Shit sprays? Yeah. Oh, sprays. wow. you got to show me some of these. I'm curious. Yeah, it's more just the photo evidence. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. But is it some like, wow, or it, not not better I've than seen, what I've we've done? I've done better, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, so did my, you enjoy that? Remember the ones at Pepperina? Oh, it was better than <laughs> Dude, nothing. Do you remember the ones at Pepperina Place? They were just sprayed. The entire bowl was just caked with yeah, shit. Yeah, I, I never used the toilet at yours. got a cleaner over to do a Bond clean and the John. toilet was that f- And the cleaner got there and goes, nah, I'm oh, not doing this right. and left. That would have contributed, definitely. <laughs> Dude, that would have been the f- like nailing the coffin but scene. <laughs> it's like it's like so disrespectful uh, that you're rude. getting someone into. I just, it wasn't just my toilet. Like everyone used it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no we it weren't was thinking, fucking yours. We weren't thinking. We weren't thinking like, oh, someone's going to see this and be offended. We just you guys do that here. To it. No, I try and yeah, clean. Yeah, yeah. Ever since you're hired employees, you yeah, yeah, started since we got Ryan calming Cooper. down. Yeah, yeah, but when it's yours, you can do what you want because you own it. And I. It, <laughs> Yeah, so you're of. not thinking of other people. It's disrespectful. Yeah, but you Dude. guys, it was a toilet for you to use. If you didn't want to use toilet, you can just you go outside. It just shows shit. how much of a piece of just shit you are. Do a shit wherever you want. Do a shit. Yeah, do a shit anywhere, but clean it. Um, no, no, do a shit otherwhere. Yeah, but clean it. Yeah, other places and clean it. No, not your place. Clean it. Not when it's yours. We're getting sidetracked. Um, I th- I I had a memory the other day, and I need to fill in the details. Well, me and James were talking about went out for dinner. And we we're talking about how we used to like um, when some one of us brought a girl home. How the others would like be just fucking weird. Mm-hmm. Remember how we did the um, bringing the poo out, you yeah. know, playing porn really loudly. The song um, that oh, you, that's she, right. she's just a hole as loud. And do, I, I was thinking, is there a time where me and Henry would to you, if you were talking to a girl at like outside of a bar, throw mulch at you? Or her? <laughs> I don't remember. Do you remember that? I can honestly see like Henry doing <laughs> that. Not putting mulch in your shirt, so you just full dirty as fuck, just as you're talking to a girl. I don't know. I don't have I memories of that. I could see that you doing that and <laughs> feeding off each other. I have a vague memory. I remember you. I remember you'd him talking. You'd have to leave. You'd have to walk away. Yeah, from I us. remember him talking to girls, and you would say he hasn't showered in three days, and I was like, whoa, because it's well, kind of yeah. true. Man, yeah, a bath with mulch, <laughs> apparently. God damn. Yeah, fuck, that was some good times. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, all right, um, let's fucking get on with these sponsors, you dogs. So, hey, sit down and sit down and have a look at yourself. Oh, man, it's hard. It's hard to fire up at you guys every week. I'm going to be honest, all right? That's come from like a mother standpoint. Look, well, that's, like well, that's, what, well, that's yeah. what's happening right now. I'm just, I'm, I'm sick of getting mad. I, I'm just disappointed now. Let's put our arms around, put our arms around them. Breast and, no, no, I can't because it's too yeah. much fucking hair. No, all pull them to their bosoms. No, I'm not touching them until they've I'm, used Manscaped. I'm Go to manscaped.com slash use our discount code fully actual 20 for 20% off. They have all of these razors and shavers and shit that are going to fucking f- blow your f- mind It'll change so your life. far open, bro, that you don't even know what you're missing out on yet, man. Pretty much smoothness is what and, you're missing out on. And it shouldn't take for me to sit here and lecture you every week. I'm sorry, but you're better than that. Like, you, you should grow up and, and, and start grooming yourself you're a fucking adult aren't you you want to be loved you, how you do anything is how you do everything and if you let yourself go to shit well guess what mate your whole life's going to shit so look after yourself and then that's a win and then you look after your work and you look after your poor old nan who's sh- trembling on the floor stroke it was traumatizing at the also end of the day, for women. Yeah. At the end of the day, it makes you better. And maybe just buy four of them. Well, because it. Throw three in the bin. Listen, I, I'm. Stimulate Marty's the trying to change. Marty is trying to change you for the better. I am saying if you if you want to support the boys, buy four. Yeah. Team. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you could buy do it four. and then sell them for, at full and price. And then sell them. Yes. Oh, Get them at a discount. You could do that too. Yeah. And it's also for women who are, um, you know, quite hairy. Cut that, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Um, but yeah, so make sure you shave <laughs> tits. Yeah. Always shave tits. If chicks had hair on their tits, the population would come to a standstill. Check for it and shave it. Holy shit, it probably would. Bro, no one's sucking on hairy tits. It'll be the Great Depression again. Whoa. Anyway, all right. 
And of course, the magical powder that is changing lives all over the world. It is huge now. AG1. AG1, AG1, Okay, formerly Athletic Greens, 75 vital nutrients and minerals that your body needs that you're not giving it. You selfish fucking pig. You dare deplete your body of nutrients? You dirt. Get AG1. Get on the subscription. It's a daily powder and fill the void in your body and then fill the void in your soul. <laughs> you fucking pigs. Move to an island. Selfish pigs move to an island. Move to an island and stay alone. Start a fire and fucking have sex with animals. Have sex with dead animals. AG1. <laughs> AG1. AG1. <laughs> yes. Have sex with dead animals. AG1. This is a win-win. This is a win-win. Like, you will be healthy, but you will support the boys. Yeah. So the, this one should be a no-brainer. Yeah. So go to the link in our description, please. Uh, check out AG1 and learn about all the health benefits. And, of course, we have our subscription website where we post weekly videos, which you will actually support us. And right now, holy fuck, holy fuck, oh, we've started it's, it's our $50,000 giveaway. Okay, so any member who's listening, you are automatically in the running. Regular members, you get one entry. Premium members, you get 12 entries. Oh, so my we're, God. We're going to announce the winner on the 31st of May and we're going to fucking personally call and contact someone and give them 50,000 what would you do with $50,000 Matt <laughs> you'd lose it within three months you'd be worse off you could invest it you could buy a new car you could buy a fucking house 50 grand is life changing unless you're I Matt can't Brown win it. you could probably get a good year's worth of meth out of that I can't win it you yeah, could do meth every true. single hour for 50k don't tempt me I can't win it so there's With, no point in me signing up for a year I would sign. That is the best chance you have of winning money ever yeah, because compared to all the other lottery things. You've, well, that's what I this mean. This is the best odds you'd ever have. Like, we don't have like millions of fucking members. Like we're, we we're really not we're not a big giveaway company. They've got 400. Here. So your odds of winning are a lot higher than they would be anywhere else. But anyway, all you got to do is sign up. Even if you're on the free trial, okay, the 21-day free trial, you're in the running. I wish I knew the percentage of what their odds would be of winning. We could probably work it out. Yeah, but that it, could be cool. It's probably like 50%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably have a 50% shot of winning. I think. Because it's 50,000. So you'd think that would kind of match the percentage. It's like 50 50. Yeah. $50,000. <laughs> we're giving it to someone. We're broke again. Please like, comment, and subscribe as, as a thank you. Please. Because we're broke again now. And, and um, it's hard to get ahead when you give away your profits. All your money. Give it away. You don't have any left. You don't give me any. Stop yelling at me. It's like you put business into the business of the business. And then we go home and we come open our pockets like this and our wife say, why are you all bruised? Why do you have money for it? And we say, we gave it to someone. We well, don't eat this <laughs> week, baby. I gave it away. <laughs> 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 nah, nah, oh. but cheers, oi. All the website members, fucking thank you for the support. You guys keep everything rolling and we fucking love you for it, man. I would fucking want everyone in this room. Yeah, so I want wow. all of them in the room. For a big three-day raid. Oh, oh, man, that we can hectic. have these pingers and sweeps. And, and no water. All right, let's move on, man. Eh? Bong break. But let's bong, have bong, a bong, 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 bong break. Bong, we'll be bong, right bong, back. Break. You've got one Bronco sock on, brother. <laughs> sick ass, <laughs> So sick. <laughs> We're fucking back. I was watching that. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I dude. saw that too. Made me want to hit so the, many people. I the get Broncos that. Broncos dance. Can't, did you see it? Yeah, they shouldn't do on that. On TV, yeah. I agree with you. They should not do oh, that. Man. That's what happened? so funny. Oh, okay. Every time the Broncos score a try, they go, like, do this dance. It makes you want to bash randoms. Dude, it fucks you up. What, like, the fans or the actual players are doing that? No. Michael went to the People game. Michael, Michael went to the game to support the local footy yeah, team oh, yeah. and he saw it first yeah. and he fucking went there a few beers with I his I was hanging out with fam and yeah, yeah let, let me went, tell you. Went to the fucking footy on a Friday night and it had was to a go good and time. It, yeah. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Because I noticed a lot of, <laughs> do you notice a lot of sporting teams around the world are really having these famous moments for their teams and I feel like they're trying to make that happen oh. in Australia. 
Yeah, well, well, it worked with the fins up thing because everyone yes, did that for yeah. a while. And it's terrible, but it works. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but yeah, it's, What should we do for us? Oh, man, I reckon just do a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever something good happens in our lives, we'll do, we'll do, do a shit. shit. Straight away, just <laughs> drop them and shit wherever oh. you are. <laughs> Celebratory shit. I don't yeah. condone it. Oh. No. You wouldn't want too many bloody good things happening in a bloody row, can you? would be fucking shitting all over the joint, brother. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, James is here. Bamboozle, James is here, baby. How was your weekend? You got to hit it. Um, oh. what'd you do? Oh yeah, I went for the uh, uh, eighty-eight kilometer bike ride. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, such a beautiful first seventy kilometers, and then I wanted to hurt myself. <laughs> Dude, you should have vlogged that. It would have been a great vlog to oh, watch. Oh yeah, I couldn't have. I'd watch that. I, I literally, I would have put the camera away and just focused on surviving. <laughs> Man, the last last fifteen k's. I, I don't know if I t- I've told you this, Michael, but I like I ended up at a funeral. Oh my God. I stopped. In I stopped coffin. and was like resting, and this guy came up to me. He was like, Are "You okay, man?" Because I like I looked like I was dying. I had to like had my hands on my knees, and 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 yeah. It turns out they were at a funeral, and I was like begging them to drive me to the next town because I didn't think I was going to make it. And he oh ended up giving me food and offering me beer. I took the food. I didn't take the beer because I was scared about surviving. Genuinely scared. <laughs> about wow, it. man, it was so fun though. But man, the last. 15 k's was hard. Yeah, the last bit work. doesn't sound good. Dude, that sounds like a long way, man. Fucking hell. It is in a day when the first 44 kilometers is rock and grass and uphill too. Yeah, right? uphill is the worst because you can't ever relax, dude. Yeah, it was heavy, but I, th- I think you would have liked it. It was just the end. You really had to get full. I don't know if I would have liked through. that, man. That sounds no, too much. It has to be downhill. Like, yeah. I could not do any, yeah. was, as you said, like as soon as you stop, your, your bike comes to a stop. There's a tour in Alaska. They drive you to the top of this massive mountain with a with a mountain bike and you just ride down. You don't have to pedal once. Oh, right, we'll yeah, do see, it. that would be Whole nice. Whole way down the mountain. We'll we should we'll do, do it. Like we should do it. Hour disable the brakes. Oh, oh, cool. Disable yeah. the brakes and then see. <laughs> That's the video. But just for one of us. <laughs> oh my god! Just so we'll do a bamboozle. <laughs> yeah. Just going around fucking yeah. two hundred yeah. k's an hour. Such a good bamboozle. It's a bamboozle. Bike doesn't have brakes. <laughs> bike to the rule. Oh, we could do that here, dude. That's not a bad idea. Actually, is a pretty good idea. You should you should have bamboozled on the. We'll get yeah. We'll get a bike track. Yeah. And then we'll just do that next week for bamboo. And we'll build like a mountain it. to yeah. go down. Yeah. <laughs> just in here, though. I've got to get to work. That's a big job. <laughs> All right. So, what do we have this week? Do you, you want, want to press the button? No. Oh, oh, not yeah. me. Yeah. No, not again. Yeah. Please. I'm so confused. Oh, fuck I can't out. see. You've been bamboozled, bitch! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh. check it. I say you've been bamboozled, bitch! <laughs> not me, not me, not me. <laughs> that was the song. That's what the song does. <laughs> Damn it, I fixed this microphone. Now yeah. it's busted again. Oh, <laughs> shit. Holy shit. Anyway, I'm just going to hold this. <laughs> oh, oh well, um, Connor, spin, <laughs> spin the tape, Connor. Another week of bamboozled. This time, we are going to make deep heat. So I'm going to cut off three chunks of this. Two are going to have this mild mint toothpaste. The last one will be with this extra strength deep heat. This is the same stuff that the boys put in their balls and the which gender has the highest pain threshold video on it. Anyone who watched that on the website, they literally said it's one of the most painful things they ever did. Oh! We fucked up bad. Does it get better? Water does nothing! Oh! Oh, that's a 10. I'm going to have to mix that. Toothpaste, toothpaste, deep heat, bamboozled baby. <laughs> All right, so now that everyone else knows and you guys don't. <laughs> and what it Ooh, is, it is it is sick. the deep heat lipstick. Oh, oh. oh So man. two of them have some of Matt Brown's cool, fresh, fluoride-free toothpaste mixed into some zinc that's meant for your lips anyway. Oh, yeah. The other one has extra strength deep heat. Wow. Oh, yeah. Dude, you're creative with these. Yeah, I thought yeah, Luke helped me with this one. So I think you're a fucking bully. Yeah, that, that, well, yeah, I, <laughs> that, I suppose. Um, so, Michael, you lost last time, so yeah. you get to choose first, but you don't get to smell because the smell is obvious. Matt has a massive advantage right no, now. No, I've got a bad nose. So. No, he doesn't. I want His that one over there. Gone. No, 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 no. I want this one here. Just say okay, one, you want one number two? two or three. Yeah, I've, done, I've done a little a helpful what you want? chart. What number? What number? Quick. I want two. Okay, you have to stick with two now. Oh. 
Oh, Marty. Oh, uh, hang on. Who came? Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, yeah, it's paper rock or some shit. Rock. Scissors, paper, rock. Mm-hmm. I will choose next, and I will choose uh, so number chosen. one. And Matt, that leaves you with three. Yeah, fuck. Three does look All right. fucked. So don't <laughs> fuck around here. Big scoop of the finger and apply it on the lips. Okay. So two have... No, one has. And then so. how long do we wait? Do we have to leave it on for like 30 seconds, hey? Because it'll start to burn. I mean, you, yeah, you just leave it you on. you got to leave it on can. and act like you don't have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. All right. Uh, I guess Michael starts, eh? Hey? Really scoop it. Mm, you really got to press down hard. All right, now brown. apply it to your lip. And I also want a little bit on the mucous membrane, which is the softer part inside your lip. We Whoa. might as well go for this. Dude, you're being crazy, Sorry, baby. You put it okay, on? I will now soon. Three, Three two, two, one. And now you watch each other. <laughs> you all look quite nice. <laughs> it's Michael for sure. Do you reckon? Look at him. It takes a second for it to start yeah, working. Yeah, it's always slow. Uh, well, but maybe we don't choose straight away. Because yeah. you know, I think it gets worse after sort it of does. 30 to 40 it does seconds. Get, it does mm. get maybe we, <laughs> maybe we just chat away. I reckon they'd be struggling now. Maybe we just chat away. I don't think see. maybe we let's why don't we try and pick the winner? Okay. So we can um three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> you guys look so cute. You're all being sun safe. Thick. Cock. <laughs> <laughs> wow, do you know brave. who it is? I do. I do know who it is. Yeah. So it's interesting, isn't it? The power of knowledge. The power. The power of the mind. I feel like I know right when now. Michael's in pain. I think it might be Matt. Never. All right, you ready for a I point? I think it's him. Look at how much he's struggling to smile. (laughs) (laughs) Marty looks cute with lips like that. I kind of wish it was like that all the time. Look at him struggle to smile. (laughs) Three, two, Two, one. one. Michael! Why'd you you pick yourself? (laughs) Because I think it's me. It's not you. It's not you. It's me. <laughs> I'm fucking struggling. <laughs> oh, true. Matt was so strong. Man. I thought it was me. Well, brave. I thought I, I thought it was Matt, but then he convinced me that it was he when he said it's me. I was like, oh, he doesn't have it. Well, so Matt I was, was like, being it must be for Michael. So brave. That hey. was some good brain shit there, Matt. Well done. Damn it. Yeah. I'm surprised he was able to take it. Yeah, no, it was not good. Good act, Brave. I kept chewing. Did you notice I just kept chewing the whole time? <laughs> Man. You've made a problem for yourself now, though, because well, it's proved to, to me if it's, not, if it's not, like, horrifically painful. It's it was pr- shit. It was a bit painful, yeah. But so I'm going to, like, doable. really up the ante now. Oh, 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 oh. I have to. That's a Good shame. one, Matt, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm now in pain still. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need screaming. We need crying. We need like hospital no, thoughts. I'm gonna put. Like, I'm gonna give you a, a deep heat is painful on like genitals and things like that. That's not lips. It, yeah, I would have thought it, it was, was painful, but I like thought, I, I could, thought I, I had it on me. I just kept. Really? I smelt yeah. my head and I was like, it smelled like a bit, little bit like deep heat. Oh, as soon as I wiped it, I was like, fuck, I'm. Fucked. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> that's brave. But uh, maybe the confusion is the uh, lip is the um. Bonsai. Yeah. <laughs> the bonsai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, the bonsai. Yeah, the bonsai <laughs> fucking did it. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Oh, it's sad. Well, that was the a bit of a fate. fail. The no, bonsai that's tree. That's, that's what it's all about. We're not meant to react, and that's what happened. Right? No, James well, gets hit. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Never do. We don't do that to next, James. Um, next week, it's going to have to be really, really intense. Well, luckily, yeah, dude, next, next week is Fussy Little Boys, so let's really up the ante okay. there. Yeah, really up Thank the Thank you ante. to the people who've been sending me ideas because there is some fucking bangers uh, coming through. If you have any ideas and want to help James out, uh, just message him on Instagram at it's James Lee underscore and uh, – Give him some ideas. Let's see us mm. in some real pain. I really want oh, something so right. dangerous that we might go to hospital. <laughs> yeah, That's bad. I like that. <laughs> oh, so Matt's had to go back to the bathroom because it's that painful. So it's fully disrupted the day. It's linger. It's uncomfortable. So yeah, wow. So therefore, it's success. Why did some- you pick? Why did you pick your number? 
I don't know. I felt just I went because I always try and think. Of, uh, I, I, the I, three was the, the most spread out. The most spread yeah, the most like mixed. The most yeah, interesting. Yeah, that's why I, didn't I went. Want yeah, that's three. why I went in between because mine was the second pile. So I was like, he's either gone mm. one extreme small pile or one extreme big pile is the one with the decline. <laughs> the the deep heat was quite watery, so that was my issue. I had to like mix the it's a bit of water is in. Is that the why two you got two involved? Yeah. Mix it up, yeah. Well, originally <laughs> I had like the a lip balm stuff, but it wasn't the same color as deep heat. Yeah, mm. that was fresh, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's so just fun. it's just now now it's just like a constant just like coldish f- yet bonsai burn. Burn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah bonsai, yeah, bonsai. <laughs> very good bonsai <laughs> kiss yourself on the balls <laughs> oh, 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 demonetized oh, 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 fuck shit. <laughs> oh, that's a and that's age restriction and everything, Brown. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's do some trauma mm. trivia. Whoop, whoop. Hit it, Brown. Yeah. Hit it, yeah. Brown. Yeah. You Should have all the questions, oh. and we have that's all blue the tack. Hey, check me that back. That's <laughs> doing blue tack. <laughs> stealing resources from work. <laughs> it's the blue tack from the whiteboard. <laughs> it's um. You have all the questions, and, he's and we chewing it. What you, are we doing? You it's have trauma, trauma trivia. trivia. Oh, so you have. Trauma, trivia, trauma, trivia, trivia. Bonsai. <laughs> that might be the. That might be my favourite jingle. Actually, that one's low, low effort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we really so sped that one up. We got that done in thirty again. seconds. <laughs> trauma, trivia. Trauma, trivia, trivia. trivia. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. very nice. It, it sounds like trauma. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. fully fucking exactly yeah. what it is. Is it a good punishment this oh, week? Oh, fuck. Here we go. Uh, so this is a segment where Matt's going to ask Michael and I some questions. If we, we'll get the question wrong, then we get hurt, physically hurt. If we both get it wrong, we both get physically hurt oh this is a long outdrawn <laughs> fucking one. it's That's just not struggle it's like the pain hasn't increased it's just it's just lengthy and <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. no that makes sense <sighs> right. it could, this could work out to be fucking annoying i thought about putting it on your balls but then i thought demonetized straight yeah, away yeah, yeah and all man that is horrifically and my it's balls are huge i would have done it <laughs> it really hurts so, a lot of nerve endings in yeah. your balls Nearly all of them. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Marty, would you like to pick one from uh, the thing? I'm picking a fucking thing out of a hat. What have you got? What have you got? got? What have you got? Strange death. Strange death. Oh, I've man. been waiting for this oh, one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Everyone's going to learn something and we're going to see some pain. It's going to be a fucking good time. <laughs> okay. Let me just get so to it. Let's get to it. Here we go. <laughs> Let me just get to the fucking Strange one. Strange death. <laughs> is this how you conduct your... Is this the energy you have when you conduct your meetings at work? Oh, I would really <laughs> like that. I don't know. I I should bring it. Dress like that. Same too. I should bring it. I would <laughs> love if you went into work like that, man. I will. I told, I promise you. If I resign, I will go in dress like this. I'll shake on. Can it. we come? Right. Yeah. Oh, you like, guys can come. They'll kick you out straight away. But um, what? They have security at Wholesome. Yeah. They have a security guard. Oh yeah, probably. But not. But what? Not a big security guard. No, no, no. It would be like the security guard yeah, so at our just, live show. Yeah. So they just weak and yeah, we'll so shout out to that with guy. Him? No. Okay. So we can just go and say, oh, no, we'll wait for you to call the police and just follow you around. For no, no, they'll just go, Matt, we'd like you to get your friends to remove themselves from the building. Please. As they are not employees and they're not signed in. And then I'll try and sign you in and I'll say no. <laughs> Have you ever had a confrontation with him? No. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> anyway, you ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Question number one. While asleep one night, a Brazilian man died after a 3,000-pound cow fell through his roof and squashed him. Whoa. The cow had escaped from a nearby farm and walked onto the man's roof because uh, the land was just above it and it could walk straight on. I understand. What year did this happen? Oh, fuck you. (laughs) This allows both of you a big chance to win. Because whoever gets the closest date. If somebody guesses it right, I will take the hit. What temperature was it that day or something? (laughs) It has nothing to do with the fucking Like I said, you're learning and there's pain. All right. What is the punishment? Uh, Chinese arm burns. 
The year was now 1945. There were the different. Everyone has different names. We used to go Chinese burn, where you rub your arm. Like he that, said 1945. I'm going to say 1946. Fuck okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> Smart Marty's won it. All right. The answer is 1771. Oh you dicks. Oh my gosh. I like to have a little, hey, little tickle on my, little tickle on Michael when he's bending over in uncomfortable positions. No. Have you seen? There's been quite a few comments about you putting your finger in Michael's mouth. People fucking love that. So please have, make the people Dude, happy and keep I doing do it. Love, I do that to Mon as well. She gets so annoyed. <laughs> Oh, as soon as anyone yawns, I fucking just shove my finger in and they get so annoyed. Yeah, it's like, like, don't! Because it's like it stops them in, it in mid yawn. It completely it's ruins it. I'll do it again. You get the worst looks. Like, <laughs> don't! <laughs> yeah, let me, I'm going to burn you now. Oh, yeah, He's shit. Super annoyed. Come on, Michael. Give but us some pain! Look my skin. He's not twist, strong twist, enough. Twist, 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 twist. He's not strong enough. Michael, you're in deep problems with this. How did man? Michael get hurt in that? Dude, I've got a sore foot. Uh, thumb, thumb joint. Do you need James to substitute in? Oh no! Oh, that yeah, yeah. So much more painful. <laughs> James, actually, yeah. This for this what if James this rips my tear his wrist off? He right. degloves my oh, forearm. I don't want to do it. I don't like doing the pain. You have to do it yourselves. <laughs> I can do it too if you want. Oh, oh, you know right, we go. Right, go right. Matt's got f- f- him. No, no, not one. next question. Okay, next question. <laughs> Thank you, Brown. <laughs> All right, next one. Does everyone know who Harry Houdini was? Hell yeah. Magician? Okay, magician, yeah. Escapee, man. He's an escape artist. So he's a famous and American escape artist. He was performing a stunt and was punched in the stomach by an amateur boxer. But he was not ready for the punch. So he said he would do it, but he was standing there and he wasn't ready for it. And he got punched in the stomach. And um, this has caused his appendix, like an appendicide, and it bursted and it killed him. Holy shit. Is that Thank how he you. died? And that's how he died. So I could have died that So day you guys too. could have possibly died from those punching in the stomach if you weren't ready for it. Wow. What's the- what year did he die? Oh, for what year was he sake. dead? No, you so- can work this one out. <laughs> it's Harry Houdini. Very famous. No. Yes. I don't Very famous. At this. I don't know who. I, yeah, I don't know who this man is. He's an escape artist. Three, Three two, two, one. one. <laughs> 1938. 1969. Wow, I it know who was I think 1926. I'm yeah. sorry, Marty. I was going to say, wow. Anyway. You get it right. shit. If you get it right, I cop the punishment. You get to, be, yeah, I can't fucking turn it. It's, it's too hard on his thick German skin. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that hurts a lot more than Marcus. Ooh, that was Big, like a, strong brown hands. That was like Ooh. a six out of ten. Oh, my, that's enjoyable. It takes me back to school. <laughs> Yeah. Shit, just fucking <laughs> Chinese man. It's like we're in bloody high school again, cunt. Yeah, wow. I can't even fucking do them. Question number three, three, three. Basil Brown, a famous relative of mine. Fuck's sake. What year was it? Shut up. <laughs> he was a fool. Well, I can't. You guys don't know anything, so I have to give you guys <laughs> so chances. Oh, mate, a year thing. You guys don't I know, know there's shit. Two volumes to Kill Bill. <laughs> Indeed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. He was a 48 year old health food enthusiast. Who you know, was? And you guys love him. Basil Brown, my fucking relative. Yeah. Right? Um, and he died after drinking four litres of carrot juice. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> it caused extreme uh, psoriasis of the liver and he died from drinking what large amounts of it? carrot juice. <laughs> what year was it? <laughs> <laughs> is, it? is that the question? What fucking year is it? What? Bon soy or whatever Dude, the Said, you should have said how many liters did he drink, if, no. and you shouldn't have told us that. That would have been interesting. This is all year based. <laughs> oh no, that's Clayton. <laughs> Not all of them. Right? Michael's page is messy. <laughs> Do you know something I used to? That reminds me. I used to do in f- high school when they would hand, um, like you know, they'd be like they'd hand a bunch of the the working sheets to the first kid. You take one and pass it on. Whenever it got to me, I would scrunch. <laughs> oh so yeah. many of them up and then pass them on. So everyone else's looked so shit when they got them all scrunched up and shit. Oh fuck! It used to make me laugh. And everyone go. 
dogs <laughs> scrunch their work up and then they'd look like a complete slobs yeah, by the end yeah. of that because it's all crinkled and shit. <laughs> it's a good teacher point. raging. Did you Tales of Bethlehem, the story uh, yeah, you told try, me the other night? Yeah, I, 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 oh. he, he, you don't really have a memory of that, hey. Really? Uh, I, I feel like it only happened like maybe three or so four times. So you saw yeah. me getting mulch smashed in I my shirt. I didn't see it, but Marty told me about it the other we night. We need to ask Henry because I feel myself. like Henry will remember. Yeah. I actually, yeah. I don't know if Henry will remember. <laughs> we won't remember that. <laughs> He'd enjoy hearing about it still. He loved hearing it. I think it was a little thing for a little while, and you'd get like you'd get fucking like annoyed and have to walk away from us because we'd just be throwing mulch at you. <laughs> <laughs> like at the very end of the night, where you're talking to a girl. Oh, it's mulch. Oh man, how did you have mulch? Always <laughs> mulch around. Classic eh? fucking Henry. <laughs> um, oh, I've got my answer. What's right. the? Oh shit! Year again? What yeah. is it? Something about some carrot brown. juice drinking oh, my health. God. Man. BB yeah, that's brown. That's how rough this is. Here we go. Three, two, one. 1955. 1991. Here. It's 1974. Oh, maths, maths, maths. I'm 17 years away. Oh, you win, you bastard. Yes. Uh, oh, I was, I was right. so close. I was going to say 1960. Oh, yes. I didn't, I didn't, I, I just, my only brain was going, oh, maybe they weren't juices then. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm going to do this like pretty hard. Eh? Oh, like, my group strength are is right Are you writing on your own? You oh, yeah, no, 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 now no. you scared me about degloving. Yeah, it, it could twist. The, you, you, can you picture it? It rips the skin Tear and then the I skin. pull it off. Twist one up. one way, one the other. Yeah. Tear the skin. It it happens. Happens. Well, that's bullshit. Gloves it. Yeah, that's, that's why it was a bully I thing to do in school. I have to pull hard to get James used to do this to kids in primary school. Oh, fuck off. When he was a teacher. Wait, wait. Stop! Stop me! Ah! Stop me! Yeah. It's just a, a little thing that causes oh. so much pain. This is a strange one, isn't it? Oh! Ah! You bastard! Oh! Hey, I'm all hot. I'm all hot and bothered now. I'm stretched. Okay. All right. Question number four. Oh. Um. The famous mathematician Kurt Gödel was also famous for being a picky eater. He was a fussy little boy, Michael. What year was it? What year was it? He suffered from extreme paranoia, and when Curtis's wife went to hospital, um, where the fuck do you find these fucking stories, dude? Shut up. When Curtis when Curtis went to hospital, he would end up dying because he would only eat food that was prepared by his wife, and his wife went to hospital. And so he died because he refused to eat. He starved to death. And he starved to death. What year did he die? What year did he die? <laughs> 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 Fucking hell, man. <laughs> it was... Uh, should what I give him him? Was it? No. Let's change the name of this segment to <laughs> what year was it? Too <laughs> 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 good. All right. Michael's got a number written down. <laughs> oh, shit. Siva. Say is it <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! You guys are so close. He that was all my 1973s, me. and he wrote 1974. <laughs> that hurts. Yeah, it's gonna hurt even more because it's 1978. <laughs> oh my! Goodness. I thought you know who back when they tra did any traditional values when the wife would always cook for the man. I was like, oh, when was that? That was my thinking anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Just do it. Oh no! Don't don't hold back this time, Mike. I could say you hold you held back a bit yeah. last time. What do you mean? Really he held back. Into him. He fucked That's me better. up. What's Come Chinese on. burning Wrap German? Those fingers around. Ah! <laughs> 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 Imagine if it ripped, eh? <laughs> oh my god! Oh. It's so good. Wow, you've gone a different color a bit. It's a bit I'm pale. So Hot and bothered now. Yeah. <laughs> At least your lips look really nice. All right. Warm. It's fucking too all. This is great. <laughs> Shit, okay. All yeah. right. Fucking <laughs> sneaky deaky. <laughs> uh, Don't! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Last question. A radio station held a, uh, a contest uh, and to win a Nintendo Wii. That's the... It helps you with your thing. Okay. I've already written my answer. Nintendo Wii, Marty. Oh, shit. The contest involved drinking it. increasingly large quantities of water without urinating. And this led to the death of a 28-year-old woman named Jen... For 
Who died? Uh, who died of water intoxication? What uh, year uh, does this happen? <laughs> so remember, it's a radio station, and they're winning a Nintendo Wii. I've actually heard about this story. Pardon? I think I know what I'd guess. Are you ready to reveal? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I'm what changing. Would you go brown. <laughs> I've got it. Hi. <laughs> To actually don't say it till they reveal. I can't say it till they reveal. I know the answer. Oh, yeah, of course you do. My guess. <laughs> Fuck you. All right. <laughs> Scissors, paper, rock. 2009. Oh, oh we've you got saw mine. Oh, said. my God. Did you see mine? Oh, really? One of them's right, aren't they? Uh, no, it came so close to being right, and I nearly had to cop the punishment. But it is 2007. Oh. Michael, you have lost How the day. The hell <laughs> you? That is so <laughs> James can verify if you don't believe me. That's so So, sad. (laughs) Martin, you may give him the last punishment of the day. Fuck him up, Marty. Uh, Give him power. Get him, Marty. Get him. Get him. Get him. Ah, (laughs) Go (laughs) off. Oh, dude. Makes me so tired. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so tired. Oh, well done, Martin. Winning the day. That oh, feels that great. Yeah. That feels great. Oh. What year? <laughs> what year was yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, everyone. We are running a little low on time, and also Jackson's interview is coming up. So we are going to skip the ring in with your rings. But if you want to send us texts, videos, voicemails, anything, call us on 0466602303. We've got WhatsApp as well. So send us your shit, and we will read and play some of your stories and shit next week. And we always look at all. Michael has to go through and look at all of the pictures you send every week. So keep. Keep the pictures of this shit splatter coming, please. And short stories are the best. Oh, let's quickly call Emily. You're right, Mike. Oh, for fuck's sake. Call her a hound. <laughs> the person you are calling is not available. Please leave a short message it. and it will be sent as an audio message. Hound. That's beautiful. <laughs> anyway. She's a bit scared of us. <laughs> oh, 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 what God. do they mean? It's like silence and then we're calling her a hound. It's all Michael, <laughs> Emily. He's obsessed. <laughs> hound is such a lovely word. I sort of would like that. Yeah, well, it's kind of you called her a dog. Oh, okay. I didn't mm, know that. Yeah, it's a bit rude. All right, so next week we'll get on to that. Bailey will be calling you to make sure that you're still not with Emily as well as a story from you. And there was some great stories sent in, so thank you. They'll be played next week. What are you guys doing on Wednesday night for State of Origin? Michael... We'll be watching One Tree Hill. <laughs> One Tree Hill is a great show. Chad Michael Murray, I had many wanks to him. Oh, my God. He is hot. He, did, did you, you watch like it? it? Hayton's hot too. Um, Who? Sorry. Do, do we have Jackson's PlayStation 2, by the way? Yeah, you, you guys have my PS2. It's been here for a long time. <laughs> do you know oh, what that is? Yeah, yeah. We fully, it's some, no. I think I it's the pink it one. It's gone. It's really? Gone. Yeah. I think we got some of it. It's definitely That's right. I'll just bet it's, it's around. It's around. I don't want to be Where anything you, other than what I've been trying to. Copyright. We should just we- watch that today. We should set it up and you guys watch our reaction to the first That's season shit. of One Tree Hill. Okay. That does sound like a We haven't seen day. Jackson for like seven months. What camera do you want me to look at? Well, phone. All of them at the All same time. All of my eyes. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure and an honor to be back. This is my third favorite podcast in the world, so I'm very... <laughs> I'm not like really happy to be here, but I'm very happy. Yeah, like he's oh. smiling. He was fucking smiling when you came in. Hey, hey. I've not seen you guys in like seven months, so I was very excited. Uh, yeah. It doesn't feel like that. It feels like it's just yesterday. Yeah. Do you so, want to do a plug? This is mine, <laughs> and it's an Ampol in Australia. Focus caffeinated gum. That's all I have to do. And it's Fuck doing. Off. It's doing really. It's doing really well. It's now, delicious. Isn't it? It's selling very well in the petrol stations. Uh, online sales have been pretty decent. Is and, it just uh, Australia? Just Australia at the moment in petrol stations. We're just about to sign with BP and I think Shell. Oh, so wow. that's pretty cool. That's oh, going, yeah. going on. Yeah. Very good for tradies and truck drivers. Yeah, well, it's so much and, easier than drinking coffee. If you don't have junkies. any meth left, and that's have a cheap f- 10 packets of that and you'd be f***ing gone.
It's like, <laughs> yeah, focus is sort of like math. And it's very good for trading. That should be their new tagline. Focus, it's sort of like math. <laughs> <laughs> well, for, for a packet, you can get very, yeah, yeah. You can get very close. It's very close feeling. <laughs> so where the fuck have you been? Dude, you left and then you're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to this place. And then we start seeing your Instagram stories and you're suddenly with fucking, with Drickus. <laughs> you became a UFC, UFC f- star. So how the f- does that happen? You that always happens to you. You end up hanging out with some f- mega famous person. Man, it's been a very very wild twelve months. Let alone the last few months. Like I've probably spent the last eight eight months of the last twelve months overseas. I'd say I went overseas around August last year. It was like Dubai. And then I went to Paris quickly. Mexico, America, back to Dubai. I came back to Australia. I was only here for a few weeks, and I didn't get to see you guys. I wasn't mm. home for very long. I saw Matt, but I didn't get to see you boys. <laughs> And then I was instantly back on the road again. And I went to Canada on last minute notice Uh, in January. I went to Canada. My friend SD called me and he said, my visa for Canada got approved because South Africans have a hard time, not a hard time leaving the country, but they have to apply for a visa anywhere they pretty much need to go. They have to go to the embassy, do interviews, all this crazy shit just to get approved to like leave. Mm. It's just because their passport, I know that like we Australians, we're pretty spoiled. Like our passport's really easy to go most places in the really? world. Really? So they can't even leave if they wanted to really they, quickly. There's certain countries, like they can go to some places in Europe and like, you know, places like Mauritius. And I think there's certain areas they can, but I'm not extremely educated on the whole thing. But I know some countries' passports are a lot more strict on, on others and stuff. So he called me and he said, do you want to come to the UFC? The UFC for Drikus's fight against Sean Strickland was always an option. Um, I was either going to Dubai back to there to set up a few things or I was going to go to Canada, but I was waiting to hear if he got his visa. He got his visa, called me and said, cool, I got my visa. Do you want to come? And I had like two days notice. Did you, so, but how'd you meet this guy? So I met SD. Um, he's my little short garden gnome friend. I met him and another boy called Rano. They're both fucking legends, two South African boys. I met them in Dubai August last year through a friend called Dr. Chris. There's a lot of well, and, they, and then they just go, oh, yeah, we're mates with, with drinks. Yeah, they, um, my friend, Dr. Chris, who owns the stem cell companies, they did a bit of work on my shoulder to try to get my shoulder fixed when I tore it. He just said, I've got these mates from South Africa. You have to meet them. They're fucking crazy. They're funny. They're, they're, one of them plays professional rugby in France, but he's from uh, SA. And the other one's like a pro boxer. He's friends with Rodriguez, all these boys. Did you try to kiss them? I, we all kissed so many times. <laughs> really? <laughs> so many times. <laughs> with tongue or? Like, no tongue, but. Just when we're, when we're in, like so they just, do the gay jokes as oh, well. Dude, okay. we so were just in, pecs. We were in Iceland and we just kept walking up to random, like big, tough looking people. And we'd just kiss on the lips and look at them and call them gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We were doing it everywhere. Me and me That's and SD were just kissing the lips and go, you guys are gay. That's straight sexual assault. Oh man. No, we're not kissing the randoms. No, they're kissing oh, We each kiss other. each other in oh, front of oh, in okay, front of yeah. people and yeah, then call, yeah, the, yeah. Makes more call them yeah. gay for watching. <laughs> Mate, imagine walking up to a stranger kissing him on the lips, going, You're gay. Oh, it's oh been, you're gay. It's been fucking <laughs> so, yeah, the yeah. wildest couple of it's months. It's been a bender, basically. Yeah, well, I mean, we we weren't really ripping into any drugs or anything, surprisingly enough. These boys weren't really in. They don't really do that stuff. You know, it just depends the crowd you're around. Some of my friends like it, some don't. Matt? Um, Yeah, Matt Brown, meth head. (laughs) And um, no, it was just a lot of booze, a lot of beer, a lot of tequila, just drinking. And like Canada started off, I got there and it was fucking minus like 15. It was the coldest I've ever felt. And we stayed at an Airbnb. I met all these guys, friends. They're all (laughs) fucking legends, very welcoming, friendly, funny, good sense of humor, just like all of us boys. And um, we just, <laughs> and then we went down to the fighters hotel where Drikus was cutting weight and stuff like that. I met Drikus, he's a really cool guy. And um, weighed in, went to the fights. We were drinking every day before it for a few days. I got me and all the boys cut off the bar and um, in Canada at the <laughs> fights. What'd you do? I was just fucking plastered and I was just yelling out the most horrible things. <laughs> oh, no. yeah, yeah, I got us, the police came down and said, if you keep going, you'll be kicked out. I got us cut off the bar because I was hammered. And um, yeah, we went out when Drikus won, and it was just a big few days. What's after that, that like going out with Drikus after his world champ? What is it? What is he like to be? Because you'd be so did fucking you dance happy. with him. Yeah, I danced what did with he him. do when he when you first saw him? Was he doing like doing a little <laughs> fucking happy dance? Yeah. <laughs> like, what do you do? How do you behave? Yeah, well, behind you closed doors. How you dance? When you've just won. A- and UFC. <laughs> <laughs> no, he. Um, well, obviously, after after the fight, you know, especially title fights, they have like on a on a pay per view card, they've got like the post fight press conference where they've got to go and do like interviews, answer media, and they've got to go through like their medical checks and do all that stuff and get looked at by the doctors and. It's a bit of a process, and you know, over in America or Canada time, the events don't finish till quite late. 
So they're not really out of the fucking area till three or four o'clock in the morning. We oh. linked at about 9 a.m. the next His morning. His eye was for Kleiner. Yeah, he got jabbed a fucking bunch in the face. And But I mean, that's all Strickland did was a jab. And everyone's like, oh, Strickland won. I'm like, it's mixed martial arts. All he did was throw a jab all night. Yes, he landed a lot of jabs, but Drikas walked him down for five rounds, took him down a bunch of times, landed head kicks, landed leg kicks, landed elbows, split yeah, him okay. open. So I'm taking you think Drikas won. I think Drikas won. It was a close fight. Like everyone just thinks a close fight is a robbery. It's like it could have gone either way. But so he rocks up in the morning. What's the first thing he does? We rock, we rocked up to the hotel and we were downstairs. We just got straight on the beers. Like we, we I ate maybe two meals in seven days. All I do was drink yeah, beer. I know. Did he have? Did he, did he walk around with a belt? Or he had he... his belt there in the in the in the little hotel bar. Oh, so area. I'd be scared to. to I wouldn't bring that because you. But it was you dead. It was dead. It. it was dead by then. Like the day after the UFC, everyone had just kind of disappeared. So it was just him, his family, friends, and well, at the hotel. Yeah, like, pretty much. Well, even that's all the, all, the, all the fighters stayed at that hotel. Even Strickland oh, was at that hotel, okay. so you know? It's like the vibe there. But there's yeah. sections. It's a nice bar and a nice little area and stuff like that. And um, yeah, we just got on the beers and we everything was just easy. Like before you know it, like I didn't have to think or pay for shit. Like I'm there. Then next minute I'm walking with the group. We're outside in a big fucking Escalade car in Uber Black. And then we're at the next bar and everything's just free. Rounds of tequilas, beers. I'm around all these guys, people and their crew. They took me in like one of their own. Was so friendly. Oh, that's so wow. lovely, dude. It was wow. amazing. They you were fucking... like try to rob them. I did. <laughs> did you I go did. swimming with him? Not in Canada, no. Okay. It was freezing. <laughs> it's a very specific um, question. <laughs> and um, nah, it was a. And then it just it was just got brutal. I thought Canada was hectic. I got a concussion at the end of Canada. Um, and I also burnt a cigar in my friend's forehead and then he smacked my nose and my nose. Oh, it was a crazy oh, trip. Dude, that would leave a big yeah, scar. Yeah, it, it did. <laughs> it was an amazing, it was an amazing trip. Dude, we should do that too. And no, not on the forehead. <laughs> Please. <laughs> wait, wait, how did you get a concussion? Oh, my friend grabbed my head. It's such a weird way to be concussed. And he went like this, like that once, but he didn't- the brain. He, but he didn't throw my head back and let go. He held it and went boom and held it like doom. Oh, And instantly yuck. my neck went like that. And I was like- Oh, oh my oh. God. My eyes were a bit rolly and I couldn't like move very well. Did he know that that's a skill he has to like make nah, you just he go just, to sleep like he a was chicken? Just, he, he, was just, he was in the middle of fucking you. Yeah. <laughs> he was, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> um, no, so he was just fucking it was around. An accident. It was an accident. Oh, like he was just okay. being. We're just what we're doing. Like I was watching Drake just kicks him in the leg out of nowhere all the time. They all oh, fucking wrestle. I, I don't know if I would like that. I'd be like, please stop that. A crazy story from <laughs> South hell. Africa. We so we went hunting and like there's a they got a lot of like traditions there when you go like hunting on their farms and stuff. And um, one of the traditions is when you first go, when you when you first shoot your first animal, you have to eat like a testicle or a liver. I think I sent you guys I some videos. This, oh, dude. And yeah, you yeah. got to do two blood stripes on your face, but oh. I didn't. They cupped like a liter of blood and doused me. They cut open the stomach, put put it as a hat and stuff. And no. all the shit's running down my back. Oh, I ate the oh. testicle and like popped out onto my face. <laughs> I ate, and I also ate a piece of the liver. I drank some of the blood. Like, Was it still alive? No, no, no. I shot. I, you know what's fucking great? They got rules like if you miss, if you miss a shot, it's a shot of brandy and a beer. So you get fucking hammered, dude. You're getting blind with all these guns and shit. <laughs> you the guns in they, shoot, they shoot towards each other sometimes when they're fucked. They're, they're crazy, fuckers, bro. It's a cool place, though. <laughs> dude, if I saw someone do that, I think I would do it so too. So my friend, bro, my friend SD, one day he was drunk in the house. Thing he was drunk and he grabbed a pistol and just shot it at the wall. And there could have been there was people on the other side of the wall. Whoa. And he's just lucky he didn't go into someone. It was fucking nuts. Dude, it, <laughs> it's so good. Dude, in a way, insane. it is really good that guns are illegal in Australia because we would have we would have oh, done something dumb. We would have yeah. done so, so many drugs. gun videos, man. I would have, yeah, definitely oh, just you put it up just, like oh, in my mouth. Yeah, take the, the safety off and shit. Oh, so like, like oh. bang, 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 tick, 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 tick. tick. You, like, you know that there's exactly three bullets yeah, here, yeah. so you go, bang, 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 tick, 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 tick. <laughs> This is such a surprise. We've got yeah. Greg here, everybody. Oh. <laughs> Did you know he was coming? No, that was a surprise. Get him a chair. I lied to you. Oh, real. shit. Oh. Greg, you come, you come here. Yeah, I think I saw that. I think you sent that to us. That's fucked. What the fuck is going on? How are you, Greg? Hey. Lovely to see you, mate. Good to see you. Special. Greg here. Everyone's here. Yeah. Fucking weird. Oh, but um, luckily for me, I, I nailed my animal the first shot because if I kept missing, I would have been shoot hammered. It? In the head? Uh, just above the heart. Yeah, I got in the fuck. It was a very good shot. I was very lucky. The boys Did were it make impressed. a sound when you hit it? It was pretty far away. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was pretty far away. Then I walked up and put three more in its head for just <laughs> execution, just to make style. sure it was dead. Yeah, I was still breathing after my shot because I just missed the heart. I was above the heart, 
And then I just put a few in it after after that shot. Oh man, See, I don't know if I could do that, eh? Yeah, that would be I could hard. do it to a human though. Well, I could the cool, do it to some, well, the good yeah. thing is like, you don't just wait, you're not just killing them for no reason. Like we ate the, all the meat and stuff that night. Like they use it for a whole bunch of things. And, yeah, okay, you fed the village. Yeah, exactly. Like, and it's it's pretty fun. Like it's a good experience and I was hammered and you gotta do three beers in three minutes on your first day. There's all these little traditions you have to do. Did anyone get sexual with the animals after they were dead? No. Yeah, I was going to ask the same thing, but I didn't have the balls to because I think that that's what we, uh, us as a friendship group. If well, we I mean, saw, I did I eat it. If we kill, saw a dead animal. I would not kill the animal. If I found an animal in the bush. You'd f*** it. And that's, <laughs> you draw the line at killing it, but if you found a dead animal on the side of the road, you would f*** it. Have you been flirting with Isla? Mm. That's a yes. A little no. bit? Okay. <laughs> it's a no. <laughs> Legally, you have to say no, but yeah, we know. Yeah. Well, there you go. Look, we're going to start pickleball up or let's do some taco again. We love you, Jackson, and thank you. I'm not ready to leave. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just going to I'm almost ready to leave. Like, I'm almost ready to leave. I was waiting for his food. But oh, yeah. um, I would like to say I'm excited to shoot some videos with you guys over the next few weeks. Or yeah. after your guys' fight, like I got my birthday, you got the fight. So maybe like during May, we'll film a few things because I got some good ideas. Mm -hmm. Have you uh, gotten into trading cards yet? Just trying to ignore that. No, I'm not like, Sorry. I'm not into <laughs> men like that. Have you watched? <laughs> Have you been playing any cool video games? Yes, I fucking have I ever. I've got such an addictive personality. I need to fix it. What's the game Oh lately? my God. I haven't played Xbox in years. And I got home and I get really into things. And mm. I watched the Viking series for the first time and it was fucking amazing. And the coolest show I've ever seen. <clears throat> so I started ripping and pillaging villages <laughs> on <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Nah. I got back and plugged in my old Xbox in the Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the Vikings one. I'm and a Viking. I'm a Viking. Yeah, <laughs> pinning them and um and the Viking the Assassin's Creed Valhalla game had like a hundred gigabyte update. I don't know when, maybe it was a while ago. I wouldn't know. So it was like a whole new story mode almost, pretty much, and a lot of new things. I got excited and I played it like for like eight hours every night from like seven PM to like three in the morning, and I'm waking up at like six or seven to go train. It's like ugh. Yeah, oh, dude, it's was very fun. Amazing, and I passed game. the game, and then I fucking threw it out in the river. <laughs> yeah, well, look, <laughs> it's paying it forward. Let the fish play. No, oh, it said online like if you play at a quick rate, you can finish it in around sixty-five hours, and I finished it in forty-one hours. Oh, oh yeah, but wow. you can. Oh, it's like you watching TV shows. He'll watch Prison Break in a weekend. All four seasons. No, I can watch most of it in a day. And you put it on like 1.2 speed or I something. I watched all eight Harry Potter films on a flight from here to Sydney. <laughs> he just fucking watches them all really eight. fast. All eight. <laughs> well, you just skip through the boring scenes. Well, you just watch the like the battles, the, the, the battles and the kissing. <laughs> That's where dopamine's highest. <laughs> <laughs> Everything Sex else is just- And violence. He's just got no idea what's going on in the movies. No, just I figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> it took offense. <laughs> I can figure it out, trust me. No, I can figure it out. <laughs> I've got autism. I'm smart. Have you seen how like all these people now have just hired like dis people with disabilities for their content? No. There's all these like people with disabilities blowing up on the internet. It's like there's Clayton's like, good. He's hilarious. Yeah, I love that guy. I love that. But there's a lot of them the now. Train the train guy. The train guy. Have you seen the guy that loves trains? No. The guy that loves trains. But my God, is there him. are there are so I many. There's guy. like there's like a hundred of them blowing up now and like I don't know. A Clayton guy is very um original and he's funny as hell. He's he's such a cool guy. I'm a fan of him. I actually wanted to buy some of his merch. And um, but there's so many doing it. I'm like I don't know how I feel about some of them. Like you know, profiting off of their like disabled yeah. relatives, like and putting them on camera constantly. It's a bit of a, I understand maybe it's giving them a bit of fun and it's cool. You're making a bit of money for them and helping them and stuff. But I'm seeing people just copying and it's very weird to watch. Do you know the only movie I ever cried in was a Cinderella story with Chad Michael Murray and Hilary Duff? Oh, oh really? dude. Sad movie. Sorry. What about Home and Away? Has anyone I still watched watch that? that? No. I was in a few episodes. Yeah, I know. Oh, I what? saw them. Yeah. 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 What he, were you doing? He was I was kissing, robbing shop. He was being a shop robber. You know one of the S brothers? No, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> in it. He, he was a River he City boy. Oh, man. River City. I think, no, I don't know what, but, it's, um, what was it called? The three lads in it? Sorry. River. <laughs> I could see you on Home and Away I for a bit. I could did. actually you see you. Should I do a cameo? Dude, I reckon you should hit him up and see if you can get on Home and Away. I don't want to go on maths. Those shows are 
Anyone that goes on mass is fucking <laughs> I love agree. That you have you there though. Bro, like the I problem agree. with the it, I don't just like be on your phone the whole time while she's trying you guys, to talk. You guys, you guys like reality TV, don't you? You guys watch a bit. I got, got a Marty secret little. Yeah, I know you Marty love it, but for me personally, I don't want to go on it. I can, I can probably watch a little bit and have a laugh at the because it's very cringe content. It's like yeah. that's the value of it. It's just very just watching people oh, yeah. argue and shit. It's Would very you go on like an influencer type Big Brother show? No. Man, what about if it was all of us? I would go on a regular Big Brother. I don't like the dating shows. I find them corny and cringe. And then people come off them thinking they're like A-list celebrities. And then a month later, they're back working at fucking Coles. You know what I mean? Not that that's a bad thing, but they they get such big heads and so arrogant over like being on television once. And then they act weird. Would Man, you come I, on MasterChef yep, with us? Yep. <laughs> I honestly think <laughs> it would be so cool if we did like, you can't leave the house. Sort of like that fishbowl experiment was on. If it was something with you guys or something with social media and shit, yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll do some stuff with you guys, but like, I don't want to go on like normal reality shows. Just imagine right now, we had like a competition where you couldn't leave this room and it was fully just live streamed for 24 hours. Well, that's, that's been happening for like two years. Man, Mr. Beast does them and they're doing them on kick streaming as well right now. Mr. Beast does that. Fuck yeah. You can't like leave the room. Oh, and then the wow. then the the last person leaving that all the money, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, they're oh, doing right. they're doing prison prison ones now where they like get an abandoned prison cell room and they put in like white rooms and stuff and people go in there and film them for twenty four hours and people to like leave and the last ones left win money and like cock. <laughs> Would you do it right now for <laughs> cock. longest in here for five hundred dollars? Remember when you nearly f- Michael on that bender? That I was so close. <laughs> yeah, holy shit. Oh, Michael just close. put a condom. Alleged, oh, alleged, allegedly, allegedly, yeah, yeah, put maybe. This is a this is allegedly. <laughs> Man, just yeah, to make yeah, the boys laugh, joke. we went far, eh? Oh yeah. Uh, oh were- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get therapy. <laughs> Man, it'd be so different between us right now. If that happened. <laughs> yeah, it would have changed things. I think over. it would have been worse for you. Like I would have felt kind of masculine because I did the. F- <laughs> yeah, Michael, <laughs> like Michael, how have little- you been? F- by me, it would have been awful. He to wouldn't live have been with. able to look oh. you in the eyes. Yeah, I'd ever just again. always be cow- I'd be like this to- when you're out. <laughs> I would have been worried I might have enjoyed it and I would have just got attached to him. <laughs> imagine if Michael yeah, fell in love with Jackson. We fully ended up together. <laughs> obsessed with each other. <laughs> My Nando's is taking a while. Oh, oh man. <gasps> That's not farts. nice. You like going fast. Yeah, yeah, dude. You always yeah, Michael loves his own farts. Yeah. Yeah. He's gone to great lengths to smell his own farts. He'll be sitting on the couch and have a panic fit to try and get his pants off so he can physically cup his own ass no underwear nothing obstructing the smell so he can feed it to himself pure have you have you ever farted on your pillow when you're a kid no okay i used to i used to fart under my blanket and pull that over me and like the girlfriend or whichever girlfriend i have at the time and, and like hold them even if they cried yeah, mm-hmm. even if you didn't Trump know them, them. even if I didn't know them, <laughs> even the, yeah, you there was quite. Know them. Did you see the video of Vitaly did years ago? He walked around a park and he would fart and pull a blanket over him in a random. Oh, <laughs> oh really? It was very funny. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, man. I want to do that, but with poo. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a poo in your hand. But yeah, smelling puss <laughs> so nice. Oh well, fuck yeah, sniffing it. <laughs> it's good to find hobbies. Yeah, we'll do golf. Yeah. I don't know if you know about golf. We're back on it. Sorry, sorry. I'll trading stop. cards. I don't know if you've yeah, seen no, trading cards Dennis Rodman sake. cards. You're I about would to love too. to get good at golf, but I just like I've got a torn shoulder at the moment, and I'm not very good at swanging. I'm, I don't know how to do it. So trading yeah. cards don't need any strength. You gotta <laughs> it give takes it a long time. Can I get an golf. instructor? Yeah, it'll help. Brown, yeah. don't go to Brown for instructor. You've got yeah. really nice eyes. Stop. I don't know I told you that. Fuck me. Do I look good with blonde hair? Maybe I'll start smelling. That's a little. Just scrunch the. <laughs> my friend put you know those like tobacco nicotine pouch things everyone's doing my friend put one in his dick when we're in iceland and he said it was the most painful burning sensation in the world he put what? it inside his oh oh my what? god yeah i'll show you what did it How dissolve up yeah. there no they don't dissolve but it gives they, a nicotine so, but he surely pull it out as soon as it starts well, it's, burning it's four percent sold 96 percent uh, nicotine Oh shit, baby! Oh. Where am I? I'll be hot. Yeah, hey. Does it still work if you do it that way? Oh. <laughs> he made poo in river oh. when I'm drinking. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna Post put that on my that. website. <laughs> oh, that's I don't really have one, but I'll get one. Oh yeah, <laughs> that, on that would go on our website. That sort of shit. I realized when I was away, I was like, "Fuck, I need to get like my website going or do something." Because I shot some fucking crazy content. Yeah, see, that's where the website And I have nowhere to put it. And yeah. I was like, people would love to see this shit that I'm doing on Wasn't this trip. Jackson Playground? I had Jackson's Playground and then like, it just kind of went. 
That's an awesome end. You keep that one. Yeah, well, I think it makes sense because I'm always traveling and the world's my playground. Yes. Mm. I like traveling. Oh, man. Do it. Should we um <laughs> have a bong? Have a bong. Take a shit. I'm all right, but I'm going to eat my Nando's. All right, well, fucking let's let's call, let's call it there, everyone. Well, thank you very much for coming on, Jackson. Hey, I appreciate you guys a lot. It was amazing to see you all, especially Greg. That was an unexpected surprise, a very so pleasant surprise. Man, present. I Crazy. Uh, anyone watching, I hope you guys enjoyed. It was absolutely lovely to be here. I hope everyone's having a good year and a good start to the year and up the bloody Broncos. Hey? And fucking yes. album and fucking watch Jackson's podcast, Shadow Band, and watch all his shit on and Instagram buy focus and fucking caffeinated Facebook gum. and buy focus. his gum and that, man. Focus caffeinated gum. And remember to have sex. And fill him up a bit. They give right. me a grope on the ass. All right, that's enough. Bong, bong break. See you guys. See. You. All right, let's hit the prank call jingle song. You prank, know, prank, prank call. call. Lots of questions. <laughs> That's fucking, that was beautiful. And this is a segment where we prank call someone and I get given a mission and, and I must complete the mission. And if I can do it, Michael has to shave his teeth. That no, was fine. Just Today speaking. <clears throat> hey, um, I was just going to come in um, for one of the night sessions tonight. What what movies um, are out um, tonight at, at the cinemas where you guys are? Is Kung Fu Panda uh, 4 out? I'll pop you on hold and I'll let you know. Okay, sweet. No worries. Hey, so it looks like we've got um, Back in Black. That's on at 8.30 oh, and 9.15. Okay, and um, do you know how many people... We've got- Sorry, yeah, that's, that's a good one. I think I might go with that one. I'm coming with a few friends. Um, Is that like, is that lots of people there tonight for that session or is it pretty quiet there? Um, It's pretty quiet. Oh, like, really? Will we be like the only ones in the cinema, or will there be other people there? Do you know? Um, yeah, there'll probably be a, maybe a few other people. Not that many, though. Okay, a few other people. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Imagine this. I'm not going to do it, but you can imagine how funny it'd be. Imagine if one of my mates like did a shit in the cinema, like just did a shit while like in the middle of the movies and didn't even say anything. Like that would be so fucking funny if that happened. Like all the and like we wouldn't even say anything and like the few other people there would like smell the shit but like they'd be too like scared to turn around because that's so weird to smell like human shit during a movie. Yeah, hundred percent. Fuck, should we do it? I've, I'm seriously thinking about like oh, I'm, I think I'm gonna do a shit. Yeah, I mean, bro, as long as it's the last session, we don't have to clean that shit up. Yes. Oh my god, I'm so. F- happy that you're allowing this okay so i'm gonna come in like mid i'm talking like mid movie just as everyone's really getting into the storyline i'm gonna do a shit have you ever done a shit at work i reckon if you did a shit too and there's two shits at the same cinema people will be like what the fuck and think it's like normal that at that cinema that there's like shit everywhere yeah probably um i don't know i'm Never seen it happen here before. Oh, if you do it, yeah, we totally don't really advise against that. Like, don't advise we, against it. Probably it's not the best thing to do, you know. But, but like, can you imagine how funny it'd be though? Like seriously, like like that would make so many people laugh. Do you know what I mean? Like even your yeah, staff members. Right. If you did a shit, if you did a shit and filmed it, I guarantee you that that would get fucking viral as fuck on TikTok. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I reckon we do it. Like, let's just try it. Like, you only live once, I think. And, like, my mates think it's so funny. And they probably think you're fucking awesome if you did a shit. Yeah, no idea, bro, honestly. Okay, well, I'm, well, if we come in tonight and I give you, like, the wink, like, that means, like, do a shit, okay? Like, don't tell anyone, though, okay? Don't say anything about it. That's the joke. If we say, yeah, we did a shit, it kind of ruins it. So we have to say nothing about the shit. Yeah, for sure. Okay, sweet. All right, well, I'll see you tonight. I'm coming in with like three friends, and yeah, I'll be the guy when I wink at you. That means do a shit, okay? Oh, I'm fucking so excited. Yeah, hey, okay. Okay, well, we'll see you tonight. Oh, I'm already right, laughing later. thinking about it. See you later. Fuck, okay. we're going to do a shit, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh. She's going to do a shit. <laughs>
That's the funniest shit I've ever heard in my life. Michael she fucking loved her. Kind of cool. <laughs> she was promoting it at one point. She was saying to do it. Oh. Just wait till the last oh, session. If, if three guys came in tonight and one was a bit like that, <laughs> like she'd be like, oh, for fuck's sake. Dude, dude, dude God, she was... took that so well. <laughs> if anyone winks at her tonight, that is very exciting. <laughs> We should go in there and Imagine wing. going in there and winking at her, you? No, I'm not doing a shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bravo. Oh, man. One That's more. Unbelievable. One more. <laughs> oh, I could listen to you say do yeah, a yeah. shit to people all day. All Our podcast should just, <laughs> should just be that. It should just be an hour of calling people. To <laughs> <laughs> rename it to do a Dude, shit. I would fucking piss myself. Every Dude, that would actually be a very funny <laughs> Podcast, if that's all we did, just as soon as it begins, <laughs> ring, ring, oi, oi, do shit <laughs> to the very end, it just ends. <laughs> I can see it. We could do it. I think I we should see, try it. I can see that as my life. Yeah, maybe like let's just call it the Do a Shit Podcast. <laughs> And it's just we t- trial it out for one episode. Oh. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for listening. Oh. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give us a five-star review on Spotify. It keeps everything moving. Please, we need your engagement. We need your love. It only takes a second to press a couple of little buttons and you're helping us out more than you ever realized. Please. Please. Matt really doesn't oh. hate his life. I've got no hair. Uh, and I've got also, no hair. <laughs> we're the best. We're, we're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best.